Hello, this video is to introduce a new accessibility feature which is now available in Blackboard. It is called Blackboard Ally and it allows different ways to access and engage with content in Blackboard. Anywhere that you see the Ally symbol, you can choose to download alternative format for that item. Let's see what formats are offered for this introduction to the unit. We select the ally symbol and you can see there are quite a few options for this introduction, probably because it is a plain text block. Now, if for example, I wanted to listen to a sound file instead of reading this myself, I can select the audio MP3 version for listening I select download. My computer downloads the file. I select it. It opens up in the inbuilt player. And auto plays for title introduction. Begin paragraph text. Thanks for choosing North, North Metropolitan, Metropolitan Task. When I'm finished listening. To my downloaded file, I can simply close it and continue with what I'm doing. There is another audio option that was available from the ally list here. Let's have a look this time at Immersive Reader. This one is really good because it offers some additional features to just reading the text aloud. So we select play. Thanks for choosing North Metropolitan TAFE. As then, if we like, we can adjust the voice. We can also adjust the speed that they are talking. That's probably too fast. Okay. As your training provider, the learning and assessment plan, LAP document. Okay. In addition to the voice controls, we have these three options at the top our text preference a grammar option, and reading preferences. Let's take a look at each. Text preference means you can adjust the size or the type of the font. You can set a background color. Oh, and I skipped over spacing. In grammar options, you might be doing something where you want to know all the nouns, so you can highlight those. And in reading preferences, this one can help with um, your focus by using the line focus tool. So if you really want to concentrate, it can help you narrow in on what you are doing. There is also the option to translate. I'll leave that one for now. And when you are ready to return to Blackboard, you simply press the exit arrow at the top there. So there's lots of formats here that you can choose from. You can access the alternative formats wherever you see the ally symbol, which is like a capital A with an arrow next to it. It is present inside your learning materials, in text items, in files, and anywhere that you see that ally symbol. Feel free to explore the options that ally has so that you can better access and engage with the content available to you in Blackboard. Thank you for watching.